Hey, it's Alyssa from Virtual Heights Accounting. This is a video going over how to enter your time using the Time by WagePoint app. So once you've logged in, you will be on the home screen. Uh, I have this video kind of up on screen here. We're gonna play it in just a moment, but uh, I've already navigated to the timesheet uh, time sheet section. You'll see there's three different sections at the bottom. I apologize for the controls in the way, but the home schedule and timesheet. Once you log into the home, you could clock in and clock out uh, from the home sh home screen. Usually we recommend using the timesheet app or timesheet section. We have found it to be the easiest to kind of use and that way you don't have to worry about forgetting to clock in, clock out type of thing. Okay, so you're gonna navigate over there uh, and we're gonna press play here. Uh, you'll see at the top, you'll be able to change the periods. You can do pay period today, this week, this pay period. You can also navigate to previous pay periods next week, that kind of thing. Um, once I, I travel through a little too quickly there, so I'm gonna just hop off. Then you're once you hit that, once you're ready to add your time, you're gonna hit this plus icon at the lower part of the screen. It will then pop up with an option to add shift. You can then add shift. All right, click that. Uh, and here, well, let's just pause here for a second. Job, you can select your job. If you have multiple jobs with your employer, you'll be able to choose which one you're working on because different jobs might have different pay rates or just might be for tracking. You might be required to log into different jobs for, for different reasons. Um, if you have multiple locations, there'll be location options there. If there are not multiple locations, you can just leave that blank. Uh, it won't have any options to select, so you won't be able to choose anything anyway, but uh, you won't have to click on that. It's not required. You then will have to use clock in and clock out. Unfortunately, we aren't able to just add a time yet. We have made this request um, to WagePoint uh, to correct this that kind of oversight in, in the development of the app. Uh, and apparently we've heard that it is, it is in the planned uh, reworking. So at some point we do expect there to be an option to just enter the amount of hours you've you've worked for a specific day. If you see that and you're watching this video and your screen looks different, please do comment because we want to be aware and be able to update this video when that development is out there. Otherwise, just enter your time in, time out. You will have to leave a comment. You can ask your manager what specifically they would prefer you leaving. Sometimes it, they do want details of what work you did do that day. Uh, other times it they don't really care. Um, some people just put, you know, what the weather is that day, beautiful day, a little note. Um, you could just put a smiley face and that'll work too. Okay, so whatever it is happened to be that they want, just click done and then send request. All right, at the bottom of the screen there. I'll stop the video there. It does say at the bottom of the screen, request sent successfully. Unfortunately, this will then not show up otherwise in your app. If you try to enter the same time, it will give you an error message because it will not allow you to add the same add another shift at the exact same time as as one you've previously requested because you you know already worked from 9 a.m to 12 p.m on this specific day it's not going to allow you to add that duplicate shift in so it will give you an error message if you're trying to add in a duplicate however it won't actually tell you what you've added already um which is again a, a a poor point uh, and we're working on uh, recommending that be fixed with the time team. So we're hoping to see that as a, as a correction as well, but otherwise you can add things as you go. Once you do request that time sent in, note that uh, your manager will be able to see it up for approval on the other end. They'll be able to approve it. Once they approve it, it will then show up, but it won't show up until it gets approved. And unfortunately, it, it depends on what your manager does for approval. Some managers will approve every day uh, or every few days. However, some are on more of a biweekly program where they'll only actually hop in to approve all time prior to the payroll processing. 
So uh, really the, the key thing is to, if you're using this feature to just make sure you're doing it every day that you're doing it, know that it's going to be there on the other end. Uh, and uh, you can always double check by re-adding the time. You can also log on to the browser to see uh, how it is looking on that side. All right. And that is how to enter your time using the phone app.